In this episode of Dead Ally Garage, you will learn how to install the first three pistons. But first, learn how to balance your pistons so your motor will outperform your competitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this music got me hyped like like Lord of the, Lord of the Rings type of shit. <laughs> okay, guys. Theoretically, we could put in the pistons. They're ready to go in. Put a, the current connecting rods bearings into the case, and we're good. But I like to do things a little bit better. So this is a trick that I do. It's something I do for race engines. But I typically do this to every engine that I would assemble just because I have the tools and I, it doesn't take a long time. But the response is a perfectly balanced engine. So what I do is I'll take these pistons individually, I'll put them on the scale, and I'll write, write the weight that it, that it is. Oh, I gotta reset this. So anyways, so I, I write the weight on each one. And then after I'm done getting a measurement on each one of them, I will go and grind some material out of, out of the heavier ones. So this way at the end, they're all the same exact weight. And this way, when the engine spins at high RPMs, there's no pressure or weight, more weight on one cylinder more, more than the other. They're, they all are the same weight on the rods and on the crank and it's a really smoother engine. And a lot of times people, after I, I assemble an, a car, assemble an engine to, for them, they, they notice it, but they don't know what it is that they're, they're noticing. So this is kind of a trick that I, a secret that I, I, I don't want to give out, but for you YouTubers, I will. So let's get going. Alright, after measuring them, I have three pistons that, that, are, that are the lighter ones that are 503 grams. This one comes in at 505, 504, and 504. So I need to grind two grams out of this one, one gram out of this one, and one gram out of this one. And after that, they'll all be the same weight and it will balance the engine a lot better. Alright, I'm done shaving all of them down, getting them to the same weight. We got 503, 503, 503, 503, 503, 503, and the last one, 50, let's just put it in the center. 504, oh no! Oh no, we need to cut it more! Here we go. 
503. Okay, let me show you what I do. I just, with a Dremel you cut over here, just sand down the corners. See the corner is ni nice and tough over here, and a sharp edge. You're just shaving the edge off of the inside of the piston. Uh, it doesn't take any structural performance or strength out of it. You just shave it down a little bit till you get the right weight. You only took out one, one uh, gram out of this one, one gram of this one, and the other one got two grams taken out of it. Now they're all the same weight. The engine is gonna run a lot smoother, even better than it was when it was brand new. So that's definitely a trick that I like to do. It's, it's a, it's a, to me, it's a big secret to make my engines better than other people's any other any other a, a lot of other builders and stuff like that especially on on a stock on a stock Carrera engine a lot of people don't go through the trouble to go through that but it does make a difference at the end it does make a difference these little tweaks definitely make a big big difference hey guys it's finally time to start installing pistons into the block we're going to start with one three and five we got to finish this side and then we got to do then we're going to put the other half of the block back together and we could start with the other one the the other three um before i start i would like to um first thank one of the one of the subscribers uh i'm gonna bot your name i'm sorry but it's a little bit difficult it's ken Karsolowitz. Karslowitz, Karslowitz. I'm not sure. He met, he he posted uh, a comment uh, about honing these cylinders in the first episode of the fake GT3 build, and I just you were 100% right. You're not supposed to hone these cylinders, but I just want to clarify a little bit more. I spoke to my machine shop, and um, it's something that I've I've been doing for a while, but Let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to clear it, clear it up a little bit better. So first, first off, this is a regular ball hone and I was not specific. I, I, I said ball hone, but it's, it was, this is what I was, this is what I meant to say. I call this a ball hone. I'm not sure what it is exactly. It's not strong at all. It's very, it's very flimsy, but I only use this not really to hone the whole cylinder. Uh, these. The problem in with these with these the problem that we're trying to solve here is that there is this carbon buildup on the top of these cylinders, uh, and it makes the bore it, it makes the piston not being a not be able to fit in there when I'm reinstalling it because it's taking up material. So the way that I, I clean it up is I just use use this. I, I did it I did it before so it's I, I just use this and I just I just clean it up like this. And that's how I that's how I that's how I clean up and that's what I mean when I said ball hone and you were right. You were definitely a hundred percent right Ken. Uh, but hopefully that clears clears things up and hopefully we get a good build thanks for commenting by the way every comment every comment i, I answer uh, it's not that big of a channel so i have the time for that it's okay um so let's get cracking all right so now i'm gonna start with cylinder number one and i'm gonna put in a, a new set of rings these are pre-gapped. I did one piston before just to make sure everything is good. And I measured the gap sizes, so these are pre-gapped. Um, I don't know what, bearing, what, what rings you're getting on your engines, if you guys are doing the same thing, but uh, these are pre-gapped. Now, with these, they're not specific on where to put the rings, but with my experience, I'll tell you how to do the gaps. First of all, when you look at the, pit top, the piston, we know this is the top, this is the bottom because you have the two intake valves are bigger than the two smaller exhaust valves. So we're going to take this expansion 
this all this does is keeps the two o-ring two two oil uh, two oil rings the two bottom rings uh, from touching each other keeps them separate so I put that joint right in the middle and now as for these guys I put it on the top top corner on the skirt this would be the top top of the skirt and I would put it like so so one one of the openings here and on the next one the opening will be over here never put the two oil rings together in fact none of the gaps should be together from any other any one of the piston rings uh, second piston ring there it's marked whenever it's whenever there's a marking on these nine out of ten it faces up actually i've never seen one that had a marking on the top and needed to go upside down but you never know you always give that uh so this one has a keeper it stays within there and then we go get the top top ring again it has a little mark on it all right now we go with the top ring and put it on and we're going to put it a precisely the opposite side of this opening step I'm gonna push out the uh, this one, number five. All right. so now this is the top and it would be facing this way the front the one with the mark got to face forward we put it in just like that um, actually before we put it in assembly lube on everything I just do I just put it on the rod first then the piston once we get the the clip for the wrist pin in then everything gets uh, oiled up this faces forward this gets pushed in All right, now we put in these retaining clips. I put one on before off camera. This is the tool for it. It's not easy to go in and, <laughs> and if you don't put them in properly, they'll shoot out in the sky. Um, so just to be careful. Uh, put this in, this little latch over here on the bottom and then I'm gonna put it on myself, not on the floor. And we're just gonna smash it from the top, just a nice little gentle. That's it. Pull it out. And just make sure it's in all the way. Now we're going to So here's another little tip. Uh, when this rod is in, it's gonna be hard to, for us to see the joint over here. Remember we said there's only one way that this can go in. If you put it in backwards, it's not gonna sit in properly, but we won't be able to see that joint so easily. So what I like to do is mark uh, one of them, one side of them. So once once we put it into place we know what side mates with what side it just makes it faster that way otherwise then you have to start looking at it sometimes you got to take a little mirror 
to get in there. So now we're marking red at the top. We're good. Next step is to align all of our rings. Put assembly lube. Move, move the piston rings around in place so you can grab some, some lubricant on the inside of it with it so everything is good. And then get the bearing. Paint it like a Picasso. And now we we'll use the the rinse with the brush. All right, slide it on. Oh, tighten it. Nice and tight. So now here's a little thing with this. I like to push it out. A little bit. All right. Now it's time to put in the piston. Uh, we put the crank that it's completely on the bottom as low as possible. The bottom dead center for this piston. Ah. Slide it in. Put the skirt. Put the skirt sit in. Come on, baby. There we go. Now we're going to just tap it in just a little bit with a rubber hammer and we're going to tighten. Tighten the spring compressor a little bit more. Spin the engine around. So we could get to the bottom. So now remember I said we marked it. We marked the red. Can you see the red in there? We got red there, over there no red. Everything is lubed up. Place it down there. Put the screw in. They already, ha they already have oil on them. Shoot it with the gun just, just to speed it up. Torque it down. That's cylinder number five. We're going to spin it over. Spin the engine over. I'm going to do the cylinder number one. Now we're going to spin, make, the, make it ready for cylinder number one. Meanwhile, you can watch that piston going up and down. Actually, we're going to go the other way. It's a coaster. Sometimes you have to play with the chains. Like tie up the chains. It's not going to turn that easy. And I'm going to also turn, I'm going to move the rods underneath, make sure they're not binding. Because sometimes they hit the 
hit the cage. All right, so how do we lock it? We gotta put the pin in here, but we gotta make sure it lines up with the hole on the inside. So, we're gonna, uh, we're right next to the hole. If you can see it, let me try to keep the full camera steady. There it is. Now we can put the key in. It's gonna hold it. And the, the crank is directly in the center, as lowest, lowest as possible. Now we're gonna start doing the other piston. Now we're gonna work on putting the piston pin, the piston clip in its place. I'm gonna try to do it next to the camera. It's a pain in the butt. This is my method. I start it that way, squeeze it in. Ah, it came out. Once I get it going, I'll take this little screwdriver and I'll start pressing it in as I go around. There we go. Be careful, it could shoot out at any second now. <laughs> so just take your time with it. Don't bang it on the floor and on the table. <laughs> this is a scary moment right now. <laughs> All right, place that down there. So if it shoots out, it shoots to the wall. I'm gonna turn it around till the pin, the the little piece of the of the clip stays with it. And when I push it in, it'll go into that groove. I'm gonna try to do it. Like this. I'm gonna put this here. Now we're gonna take some assembly lube and just paint it all around the walls. All the way around. Also, make sure that the metal doesn't touch the cylinder. You wanna score it. All right, now we're gonna compress the springs, the rings. Nice and tight. And now we set the piston. Push it all the way down. Oh, 
spin the engine. We could see the red mark on that side. So we know what side it's going on. Shoot it with the gun. Twerk it. Not twerk it, twerk it. Twerk, 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 twerk. <laughs> now we do the same thing as we did last time. We'll mark, mark them. So this one, or that one's marked already there. Right there. That concludes the first half of the short block build. Next time I'm going to put in the next three pistons and the other, other case half. Uh, after that, it's finishing up the motor so we can put it back in. Um, if you like the content on this uh, video, please like and subscribe. I need as many subscribers as possible. I'm trying to make the first thousand. Uh, right now, during this video, I'm up to 318. So everyone counts and I like it. Um, if you guys are interested in any one of my merch, we still have some uh, t-shirts left and a few sweatshirts. Uh, message me through uh, Instagram and we'll contact that way. So till next video, take it easy. And don't forget, if you ain't got haters, you ain't popping.